everyone, welcome back to the channel today for a video on week 7 of Summer of Pain. So instead of just uploading the regular gameplay, I've opted for this week to actually explain the strategies and sort of how the fight works and things because as I'm sure most of you know, this fight is quite a big step up from the previous weeks in terms of difficulty. So we're going to start off by basically explaining Symbiote Supreme's nodes and how they interact with his abilities. So the biggest node on him is this placebo node. So every time you hit him there's a 40% chance to get a buff that does nothing applied to you. This buff lasts for I think it's 15 seconds and this is mainly a threat because when Symbiote Supreme enters his nullify phase he is going to immediately nullify all buffs active on you and deal damage associated with that. He also has close encounters and that is going to be chipping you down throughout the majority of the fight and is a pain because it sort of makes it more difficult to just wait out the buffs. He's also immune to power control. This makes the control denial objective significantly harder because champions like Magic and Dr. Octopus can't do it as well. He also has redoubled determination and that further limits the options. So the way this interacts with him is the attack is obviously as expected, but the power gain actually means he can get power gain from hits, which is fairly significant and if you're using a very debuff heavy champion it can get out of control quite quickly. And the final significant node is this buff duration and that is basically just going to mean he gains extra power when he is switching between phases. Alright so now I'm going to go on to my fights. So for the mercenary objective I opted to use my 6 star rank 3 hit monkey. So I don't have a domino ranked up, I do overall think she is the best option for this. But with Hitmonkey he can work for it. So first thing I'm doing in this fight is purifying the bleed and poison from the suicide masteries. So that's done by either doing a medium double light medium combo and if the second light crits it will shrug them off. Or you can follow that up by a medium light medium and that will get rid of it if they don't. So the basic strategy for this fight is I want to stay as close as possible for as long as possible. When Symbiote Supreme enters his damage phase, I'm going to be not really hitting into him that much because if I get a placebo buff on me during this phase, it will be active when he enters the nullify phase next and then we'll deal a burst of damage. So you saw there I had the dexterity buff active and lost just under 2000 health. So you can see if you have a lot more buffs active, that is going to stack up and deal quite a lot of damage. So now I'm basically trying to stay as close as possible, so Close Encounters doesn't chip me down. I'm going to be holding on to my special free until he next enters the nullify phase, and that is because the special free gives Hitmonkey quite a lot of cruelty. So both I don't want the nullified damage from him entering that phase, but also I want the cruelty buff for the damage boost on myself. So you can see here again, I'm just waiting it out, trying to stay close for the Close Encounters node. Now, with certain champions, you have to be blocking for it to actually register as being close enough for the spacing. So now I'm going to go for the Special 3. This will give me a Cruelty buff, which for Hitmonkey is essentially just a 50% damage boost. And now I basically need to get him down before he enters his Nullify phase again. And I need to remain close enough that Close Encounters doesn't chip me down. So I'm just trying to race up to a special 2 here. Got to bait out another special 2. And yeah, that's how Hitmonkey works for this fight. Mainly just by dealing a lot of damage quickly. So the second solo I'll be showing you is for the Cosmic Objective. This is using my 565 Hyperion. And overall there's not that much strategy associated with this fight. 
it is mainly just going in until you get an attempt where you get good enough luck to solo. So basically just going to be doing parry heavy at the start. And the general strategy is just to get up to that special 2 and to stun lock him for the whole fight. Trying to get as close to special 3 as possible before going for the stun. Now the pacify mastery helps a lot in this fight because it actually can prevent Symbiote Supreme from entering a particular phase and that also counts for the nullify phase and also the nullify damage can be prevented separate to the phase and you are going to see that that does happen in this fight so unlike the hit monkey fight I'm not going to stop attacking when he's in the damage phase I'm just going to hope that pacify works to shut off the nullify damage so we're going for the special two stuns so the best way to utilise the special 2 stun is to go for a heavy attack followed by a slightly slowed 5 hit combo. So you saw Pacify did stop the big burst of nullify damage from him entering that phase. Here the stun actually fails but thankfully his AI cooperates and does not use a special 3. And yeah that's how it's still over with Hyperion, it's pretty much just a fight of luck. So now moving on to the third solo, and this is the most interesting one. So I'm using my rank 3 Black Widow Clairvoyant for the Control Denial objective. And this fight is significantly harder than the other two to pull off. Requires luck, but also fairly defined strategy. So first thing I'm going to do in this fight is switch into the Curse of Hellfire. Of course staying close to avoid the Close Encounters damage. And now I'm going to wait to use my special 2 until Symbiote Supreme is over a third of the way through his defense phase. And what that does is it means that I will nullify his power game with the buff immunity, whether he uses a special one or if he just expires that phase through the timer. So now he's in the damage phase and I'm just going to try and stay close without hitting him so that I can let the buffs fall off. Now if you hit Symbiote Supreme with Claire while he has the power game buff active you will actually nullify it which is something that is worth doing a lot in this fight. So now for the rest of this fight I'm just going to stay in the Curse of Blood for the healing on the special 2. Go for some intercepts here just to try and keep close to him and avoid any block damage. Go for a special 2 here and again the buff immunity prevents the power gain from him changing phases. And this is basically the general strategy of the fight. Now very important thing to keep in mind is that Symbiote Supreme special 1 immediately changes him to the next phase. If he uses that special 1 while he is in the damage phase it will send him into the nullify phase and pretty much immediately kill you if you have too many buffs active. And that does also apply to the hit monkey fight as well. So to get the solo with Claire you do ideally need an attempt where your special 2 crit luck is relatively good, which this strat was. You also do want the suicide master is on for this. To be honest, you do with pretty much whoever you're using because the damage from that is mostly negated by close encounters. Another thing with Claire is you'll notice I'm not really finishing my combos very often and that is to prevent giving Symbiote Supreme any debuffs for the Redouble Determination node. So you can see now he's in the damage phase again, I'm not going to be hitting him much. So after the special 2 I will run in and land one hit, and that's because after the special 2 I will always have the dexterity buff active. So you see there I actually stopped hitting in too late and did have a few buffs active, but it was not enough to kill and we can heal that damage back. 
yeah, you'll see even in the damage phase, I will hit him if I have the dexterity buff active, because, of course, dexterity buff is a buff that's on me guaranteed damage when, she, when Symbiote Supreme enters the next phase. However, if I hit him once, there's only a 40% chance the placebo buff will apply. So it's better to land one hit and risk getting a placebo buff than have the guaranteed dexterity buff damage. So this should be the last cycle that I need to wait out before I can just hit into him and go for the kill. So you saw there, Pacify prevented the nullify damage. I did have one placebo buff active. So I'm just trying to stay alive here, stop the close encounters damage, stay close. Going to bait out this special two. And now to finish off this fight, I am going to switch back into the Hellfire Curse to finish him up, to, to basically make sure that this next special 2 does kill him. And yeah, that is the solo of this fight for all three objectives using Hitmonkey, Hyperion and Black Widow Clairvoyant. Thank you all for watching this video. Overall, I would probably say that Domino is better for the mercenary objective and probably Dr. Voodoo for the control denial objective but hope you enjoyed this video found it useful especially if you don't have those options available thanks for watching